Greetings folks and welcome to Bob of All Trades. This HP Omen featuring a Ryzen 7 is a review sponsored by my wallet. Do yourself a solid and this guy right here. Subscribe to the channel. If I had around 100,000 subscribers, I could quit my day job and produce more content, including more content out of my pocket featuring sweet laptops like this. What's inside this bad boy? Let's talk about it. We have the Ryzen 7 4800H, a GTX 1660 Ti, 8GB dual channel memory, 3200MHz, two M.2 drives, one of which is occupied with half a terabyte of NVMe storage, the AX200 Wi-Fi 6, and a 70 watt hour battery that will give you about five to six hours of runtime unplugged. This will include a full HD IPS panel at 97% standard RGB at well over 300 nits and 720p webcam and microphone is located at the top of the bezel, just like it's supposed to. Thank you, HP. Powering all of this with a 200 watt power supply unit. Port selection on the right hand side includes a USB-C, a mini display port and two USB 3s. And on the left hand side, you have your barrel power port, the local area network, another USB 3, an HDMI out, the headphone microphone combo port, and a full size card reader. All of this packed into a 15 inch chassis weighing 4.6 pounds with a plastic lid and an aluminum deck and bottom panel. Now when it comes to gaming and benchmarks, of course that 4800H is no slouch in Cinebench 20, but it has scored the highest score that I have seen to date at over 4300 points. And as far as the GTX 1660 Ti, this is a GPU that we have had available to us for over the last year and a half at this point. However, the cooling solution on the new HP Omen is absolutely savage. Should you wish to max out your fans at 55 decibels, the GPU will cap itself in the low 60s and the CPU will average around 80 degrees Celsius under long gaming strenuous loads. Should you wish a quieter laptop, don't use the maximum fan software button and the laptop will cap itself at around 45 decibels. Just expect around 5 to 10 degrees hotter on both GPU and CPU. The keyboard temps were absolutely amazing regardless of what setting we had and this was overall one of the best thermal performing 15 inch laptops that I have tested this year. Usability of the new HP Omen features an oversized Windows Precision touchpad, but it is made of plastic and the click symmetry is not as even as I would like. Onto the keyboard, the typing experience wasn't the best that I have experienced this year. And with everything shifted over to the left and not having a numeric pad on the right, that too threw me off. Fortunately, the power button next to the delete key does not power down the system should you accidentally hit it. And of course, should you desire having a number pad at the push of a button, it will pop up on display. The Bang & Olufsen speaker audio sounds decent at best and does okay when it's paired with the automatic fan curve of 45 decibels. Real-time audio on this device at this current time is not recommended. Have a listen. Overall, I like this laptop. My final thoughts are as follows. Whoever was in charge of the cooling solution, nice job, email me. I wanna personally congratulate you. As far as the rest of the laptop goes, when it comes to FPS performance, the 4800H isn't really doing anything beneficial for us that any other competing CPU six and eight core could handle. However, there's more to it than just FPS performance. You see, cooler keyboard, deck temperatures, and milder fan acoustics are worth the price of admission for Ryzen over Intel for many people out there, and I may be aboard that camp as well, not gonna lie. Now, when it comes to the competition, at $1,249 at the current asking price, at least on this chassis, for me, eight gigabytes of RAM is a tough pill to swallow, 1660 Ti, 80 watts, maybe, maybe not, when the competition from Electronics with the RP15 Matrix model for the same price, you can get a 2060 that will boost up to 110 watts and twice the memory. Other than that, where this thing does shine above that would be much better webcam placement and that extra eight watt hours going from 62 watt hours in the Matrix to 70 watt hours in the HP Omen, 
that could get you maybe 30 to 45 minutes of runtime if all other things were equal. And between those two laptops, I really don't think you could go wrong, and I would certainly take either one of them over the A15 or just about any other 15-inch laptop currently featuring this CPU on the market as of June 2020. All right, folks, that's going to do it. Hopefully you enjoyed my review. I'm Bob Voltrades, and I'll see you in the next video.